Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Do you believe in feng shui? I do. At first, I was very skeptical, because I am a Christian, but now, I truly believe in its magic. Before we go on, it must be emphasized that Feng Shui is not a religion. But because some religions practice teachings that are similar to those Feng Shui classical texts, they are often discussed in relation to each other. In Feng Shui, karma plays a very important role and also action. There are no favorites of the universe. Wealth has corresponding elements, symbols, and Feng Shui cures that when added will attract money and wealth. Even simple cleaning and clutter clearing from wealth and prosperity corners will show you changes. Feng Shui Wealth Corner can be activated by clutter freeing and adding symbols of wealth. today's video, I am going to share to you my favorite overall Lucky Charm bracelets, which are included in our new collection. I really love this collection, they are very high quality, fine, luxurious jewelry, elegant, and worth the price. I'm sure everybody will be amazed at the beauty of these genuine products. The pride of a fairy online. And I'm so proud of using them myself. This our popular hot selling item, the Super 7 All Around Lucky Charm Bracelet. The Super 7 Crystal, also known as the Melody Stone, is a grounding stone that revitalizes and clears negative energy surrounding you. It also helps us to adapt to our environment and defend us against the cruel realities of life. This is one of the few stones that never needs to be cleansed. The name Super 7 is significant because there are seven different crystals in this stone. Amethyst, Cacoxonite, Gotite, Clear Quartz, Lepidocrosite, Smoky Quartz, and Rutile. Standard pendants and lucky charms that include in this bracelet model are the Thousand Hands Quang Yin, the Laughing Buddha, the Evil Eye, and the Abacus. thousand hands, Quang Yin, there are a thousand eyes on the palms of the thousand hands, which give Quang Yin omnipresent powers, to monitor the world in every direction at any given time, and to sense for afflictions of humanity. The thousand arms also enable this goddess of infinite mercy, to scatter blessings, and to lend a helping hand, to alleviate the sufferings of other beings. Quang Yin is the short form Chinese name for Run Shi Yin, where Gwen means to watch, monitor, and observe. She means the world. Yin means sounds, specifically sounds of people suffering on earth. Wen Shi Yin is thus the one who hears the cries of the world. Those who are in need of this goddess aid need simply to cry out her name. She will assist those trying to overcome depression, grief, relationship issues, family drama, illness, death of loved ones, and other major obstacles in life. When in distress, one must chant Om Mani Padme Hum, the potent Buddhist mantra in front of her image. Kuan Yin will then protect you, your family, and your business from evil. Like a child calling its mother, people depend on the goddess of mercy and compassion, grateful for her promptness and immediacy. Once this bodhisattva is called upon, she will serve to rid the caller's life of suffering, transforming it into joy and happiness. Laughing Buddha is believed to be a symbol that brings prosperity to one's life. Of all the Buddha symbols, this is the most popular one. It can bring happiness, wealth, and prosperity in a personal 
and professional sphere. In personal life, the laughing Buddha is believed to bring happiness. But when one looks at the meaning of Feng Shui symbols, one can understand that the laughing Buddha is more of a sign for financial well-being. This laughing Buddha hanging will help to sweep away your worries, stress, problems, anger, and sadness. The laughing Buddha also helps usher in good fortune and prosperity. In Feng Shui, the laughing Buddha, also known by Buddhists as Madraya, is one of the most supreme symbols of happiness joy and prosperity in addition to revitalizing any dead or negative kai and relieving tension he is also believed to summon fortune and riches for all family members evil eye or lucky eye nasar eye or greek evil eye is a famous Mediterranean symbol for protection against the evil eye, or not so well-meaning people with the eyes of jealousy and envy who harbor intention towards your family, achievement, and good fortune, despite their praises and compliments. The evil eye amulet is also said to offer happiness to the friends and the beloved ones. It offers a layer of protection against envy or gossip. Jealousy or strong competition can cause people to say or do harmful things, and carrying this feng shui amulet provides a protection against it. Anyone can use this amulet, but it is particularly beneficial for anyone who faces affliction from the number 7 Vijayana Lost Star or the number 3 Quarrelsome Star. It helps overcome the competition in whatever area of life it encounters. It is also ideal for those involved in competitive. Or political arena. In ancient China, the abacus was an instrument used to calculate transactions and trade deals by clerks and merchants across the lands. It is where the modern day calculator derived from. It was a board with many levels of sticks on which little beads could be pushed back and forth to symbolize numbers and figures. Due to its history of clever working and problem solving, the abacus is now a symbol of prosperity and quick thinking money making strategies. It is used widely by people of high monetary position, such as entrepreneurs and corporate leaders. It is believed to help increase the income of businessmen, store owners, and fiscal planners, ensuring that no amount of money goes uncounted. It will also benefit the careers of those involved with the stock market, banks, and trading industries. The abacus is said to be a very useful tool for students who are looking to excel in the subjects of accounting, mathematics, economics, or physics. This tool is believed to enhance the ability to think quantitatively and be more nimble with numbers. For individuals in the career fields of science, engineering, or mathematics, an abacus upon the work desk is reputed to increase your numerical intelligence. Depending on the availability of the materials and lucky charms, you may also request other symbols like the following Arawana, Money Bar, Walu, Good, Money Coin, Pai Yao Pixiu, Lucky Frog, Lotus, Peanut, and many others. For some other tips of what to have in your bracelet, please check the link below. We offer additional pendants, but not to replace the original pendants included. It costs an extra dollars for every additional pendants or beads on request. Please contact us when placing your order. The other one I love, that I also use myself, is the Business and Love Good Luck Charms Bracelet. This bracelet is especially for a businesswoman to attract wealth and love, for health, and also enter bad luck and wish fulfillment. It consists of the following lucky symbols. 1. Money bar or ingot. It is a powerful Feng Shui product to activate wealth kai, a symbol of wealth. 2. Mantra on Mani Padme Hum, bead, for prayer, energy, wishes, protection, 
to bring a lot of good look to the wearer, as well as protection from natural calamities, accidents, and evil spirits. It's also believed to bring profound love and peaceful energy, good health, and good news into your life. 3. Money Bag Wealth Activator Will attract money and wealth. Money bag implies unending good fortune, prosperity and success. 4. Evil Eye It provides protection against evil forces. The evil eye is a look given to inflict harm, suffering, or some form of bad luck on the person that it is cast upon. Evil eye charms protect yourself against envy, theft, and the negative intentions of others. 5. Rose Quartz Unconditional love, self-love, caring kindness, friendship, romantic love, platonic. In our new collection, you can also choose your complete lucky birth month stone bracelet from January to December. This bracelet is for those who are born in January. It includes lucky symbols like the heart, which is a symbol for love luck, lucky elephant, they are considered cures for fertility, good luck, wisdom, and more. In Feng Shui, they represent strength, protection, wisdom, and good luck. It embodies dignity, majesty, and power. The mantra Bulu, or bottle gourd, plant, has long been used as a food and medicine, and its hard shell as a bottle, a dipper, and even an ancient musical instrument. Gourds have traditionally been used to carry medicine, wine, and magic. For this reason, the Wuolo is revered both in Buddhist and Taoist circles as a symbol of longevity and perfect health. It is used to improve health or for protection against illness, as well as to promote good fortune and healthy energy all about. It is a very protective symbol which can be used in many areas of our life to guard us against any type of negative energy. The Infinity 8. It's widely known that the number 8 is regarded as the money number in Asia. It is also called the never-ending symbol or the infinity symbol. The infinity symbol, figure 8, is not just a Chinese infinity symbol. It is universally recognized as a symbol for eternity. The two circles of the eight forms have no ending and no beginning and continue in its pattern forever. In Feng Shui, the infinity knot is special and is used to create what's called the mystic knot. Money bag, Feng Shui money bags has great symbolism and wealth activator. It is the bag which the laughing Buddha carries. It is said to be heavy and full of coins and wealth. Money bag is carried by a laughing Buddha. Keep in prosperity corner and you will see the positive changes. Lotus for love and protection, it is one of the eight precious objects of Buddhism. It is an icon of wholesomeness, harmony, peace, and purity. In Buddhism, the lotus flower is also highly revered. It is said that it stands for four essential virtues, which are loveliness, softness, scent, and purity. Mani Ba are an ancient Chinese gold medium for exchanging expensive goods. They are made to look like a smiley face, because gold ingots trigger happiness when one sees it. Gold ingots have been designed by ancient feng shui masters, with a perfect shape to emit wealth kai. They were owned in ancient times by high-ranking officials, emperors, and tycoons only. Gold ingots are highly recommended by all feng shui masters, as the symbol of wealth and abundance. Rhinoceros the bulky size couple by its defensive nature makes it a powerful symbol of protection. It is a powerful symbol of protection against enemies, burglars and violence. The metal details on these bracelets are made of 10k US gold. This model is for those who are born in February. The lucky symbols are 
Infinity Egg, which is made of amethyst crystal. The Lotus Flower, RHE Wallow or the Holy God. Dragon Phoenix pendant in stainless steel plated with Eltim K gold and details of Swarovski crystals. The dragon is the symbol of precious yang energy, male strength, potent fertility, prosperity, and courage, while the phoenix symbolizes yin, female enchantment, happiness, high rank, and magnificence. When apart, they will serve to be very useful feng shui symbols. The dragon brings good fortune, vitality, and essence of life, while the phoenix brings hope, opportunities, and fame. However, when in union, they will bring out the best of the yin and yang harmony, symbolizing the perfect unity between a man and a woman. They will create an environment in which a beautiful love can blossom, and in which many healthy children can be born and raised. It also has the smiley moon, the angel, and the gold sheath. Bracelet model for those who are born in March. It is made of Swarovski crystals and other stones like Japan Tensha Flower Kimono, Business Globe, Aquamarine, Stainless Steel Gold Plated Dragon Phoenix, Jade Infinity 8, Blue Lace Gold Sheath. The meanings have been mentioned earlier on this video, or you can read on the link below. For those who are born in April, here is the model bracelet for you. The main material is pearled with some Swarovski crystals and lucky symbols according to the picture. For the month of May, you'll get these lucky symbols. Aside from some which are already mentioned, you will also get the Jade Money Frog. The Fortune, or the Three-Legged Frog is a symbol of promises and great prosperity. It is a symbol of endless flow of income into your household. The Money Frog is a powerful symbol of prosperity that is used extensively to attract wealth to luck in feng shui. The Money Frog also recognized by name the three-legged toad, wealth toad, or Chinese frog, is the celestial and mythical creature emerging every full moon to bring with it wealth and good fortune. It is one of the most prominent symbols of prosperity and monetary gain in feng shui and can often be spotted beside cash registers, receptions, and owners' desks all across Asia. In ancient Chinese folklore, the Mani Frog was the wife of a renowned man who attained the elixir of mortality from Shimai Mu, the goddess of the West. The frog, who at that time was still a maiden, was jealous and so stole the elixir from her husband. As retribution by the other gods, she was transformed into a three-legged frog and sentenced to reside on the moon. Because of this, the Mani Frog is always seen sitting on a bed of treasure carrying two strings of coins, and biting one in the mouth, her natural greed requires that she be always surrounded by riches. This is why she is such a strong symbol of prosperity that is used extensively to attract wealth to luck. Paiya is also known as Pishu, Paisi. It's a symbol traditional of protection, luck, and riches in Asia. It is believed to bring fortune, good tidings, and protection to his owner. It is not only a guardian god, but also can bring in an abundant source of monetary revenue and land office business. To know more about Pishu, you can watch my playlist about the Pishu bracelet. The link is on the description below. For those who are born in June, this is the bracelet for you. 
The lucky symbols include according to the picture with the fortune roi, or the scepter of power, is one of the most influential feng shui symbol of authority, power, and command. In ancient China, the ruyi was used by almost everyone in the imperial courts and offices, as well as government officials and dynasty empresses. It was created with precious and beautiful gems, such as jade or gold cloisonné, and has the auspicious symbolism of ease and endeavors as well as increased luck in new ventures. The Roy has been held by many important figures in hopes of bringing higher authority and greater power. Some of these deities were Chip Hekong, Laughing Buddha, and the central figure of the folk looks or three star gods. The Roy is a very useful tool to have when one is in search of enhanced effectiveness as a boss or leader, or wishes to be promoted to a higher position in their career. It can be used not only in business, but also in general life. It is a necessity for people such as CEOs, directors, managers, or politicians, all of whom are seeking to climb further up on the ladder of their career. Other new symbol is the Laughing Buddha is believed to be a symbol that brings prosperity to one's life. Of all the Buddha symbols, this is the most popular one. It can bring happiness, wealth, and prosperity in a personal and professional sphere. In personal life, the laughing Buddha is believed to bring happiness. But when one looks at the meaning of Feng Shui symbols, one can understand that the laughing Buddha is more of a sign for financial well-being this laughing Buddha will help to sweep away your worries, stress, problems, anger, and sadness. The laughing Buddha also helps usher in good fortune and prosperity. For those who are born under the month of July, you can have this beautiful lucky red overall bracelet. With the addition of the money bag, which is a particularly promising symbol of prosperity, wealth, and success in feng shui. By using a money bag, you are attracting wealth luck from all directions. It is for this reason that many persons in the field of sales, business, and speculative investments seek money bags. It is also the ultimate love charm which is appropriate if you are looking for love. This green bracelet's main material is the pyridot which is a birthstone for those who are born in August. This has also the mystic knot that has always been a good luck symbol for the Chinese. It has been used for many centuries, being woven onto the robes adorned by the imperial empress of China. This was done to dictate the immortality that they possessed. This good luck charm is said to have the magical effect of curing untamed tempers. It will bring a calm and sensibility in situations that demand it. Simply rubbing the knot when you are feeling irritated or impatient will relieve your stress and allow the mental clarity. The same goes for fear. Holding and rubbing this mystic knot when you are fearful will create a sense of stability and safety. It is for these reasons that this lucky charm should always be in close reach. The same goes for those who are making long journeys abroad because it will provide a safeguard against dangers such as accidents, thefts, and kidnaps. The mystic knot also acts as a potent love charm that is said to improve your relationship luck. In short, the existence of this lucky charm in your life will create benefits in all the aspirations and goals that you have. For those who are born under the month of September, we can offer you this beautiful blue, overall lucky charm bracelet with the main material of lapis lazuli stone, with Swarovski crystals and 10k gold balls. With the addition of evil eye, or lucky eye, nasar eye, or Greek evil eye, is a famous Mediterranean symbol for protection against the evil eye, or not so well-meaning people with the eyes of jealousy and envy who harbor ill intention towards your family, achievement, and good fortune, despite their praises and compliments. 
the Eli amulet is also said to offer happiness to the friends and the beloved ones. It offers a layer of protection against envy or gossip. Jealousy or strong competition can cause people to say or do harmful things, and carrying this feng shui amulet provides a protection against it. It also includes the tree of life to attract excellent business luck, good opportunities, and wealth luck. Exciting news will come to the household, and everyone will be blessed with positive cosmic energy. This rose quartz overall luck bracelet is good for those who are born under the month of October. It includes the butterfly symbol which is a feng shui cure for love and romance, probably because love is the most transformative feeling that makes you feel like flying. Butterflies also evoke a sense of vulnerable, or inspiring and joyful beauty that can only be compared with the feeling of being in love. This rose quartz overall luck bracelet is good for those who are born under the month of October. It includes the butterfly symbol which is a feng shui cure for love and romance, probably because love is the most transformative feeling that makes you feel like flying. Butterflies also evoke a sense of vulnerable, or inspiring and joyful beauty that can only be compared with the feeling of being in love. It also includes the anti-third party fox. Suspecting your other half is being unfaithful, or having an extramarital affair, or worried that it will happen. This infidelity protection amulet carved fox crystal is specially designed to deter Hua Li Jing, or third party from seducing, and snatching your spouse away. For those who are born in November, this citrine overall lucky charm bracelet is advisable. Citrine for money and wealth, and all the other lucky symbols included were already explained earlier on this video. And lastly but not the least, for those who are born in December, I can recommend you to wear this overall lucky charm bracelet. It is made of turquoise stone which is the birth stone for December born. All lucky symbols were already taken up earlier, in addition, the double arawana fish symbol is included. Arawana is a symbol of a good harvest. It is believed to bring all kinds of blessings. In business, they are called wealth fish and strength are known for providing protection and supporting surrounding qi flow. Because the Chinese word for fish, you sounds very much like surplus and abundance, and the arawana is considered most auspicious among water-dwelling creatures, this symbolism is extra potent. If you want to know more about lucky symbols and lucky charms, Please follow my blog. The link is on the description below. Before I end this video, I just want to remind you once again that we have all the lucky charms and feng shui cures to help you attract money and abundance and even happiness. Please visit our online store. The link is on the description below. Remember, I am here to guide you, and share to you the things I know, not just for the money. I'll tell you the right charm to have, even if you want the most expensive one, if I think it is not suitable for you, then I'll let you know. I want you to have the right protection, the right charm or amulet that brings you good luck, and good fortune. If you buy the wrong one, you are only wasting your money. The only thing I want to know when you seek advice from me is your exact date of birth. Your Gregorian zodiac sign doesn't mean anything in Feng Shui. 
It is also important to note that planting good thoughts right from the beginning is very important for Feng Shui enhancers and cures to work wonders. Enhancers and cures should be bought with a generous heart. Most who are buying Feng Shui products without genuine intention or generosity will not enjoy the benefits from the items they obtained. If you are stingy or not willing to spend that kind of money, then you should not buy the item. Generosity simply means willingness to obtain the item with your own money happily. Do not be greedy and never try to obtain a Feng Shui item through unscrupulous means. Such motive is considered a bad sin, which is considered as bad intention right from the start. This simply means programming bad energy into your items. Take note that if you have doubts right from the beginning about an item, meeting your own expectations, then you should not get it from the start. You are the master of your own life, no one is forcing you to buy anything. It is a common practice that the Chinese would normally buy their Feng Shui items with a willing heart, and refrain from doubting, condemning, judging, and challenging if they are well aware about the consequences of backfire. Remember, once you have negative thoughts, you are actually programming negative energies into your items, and they will go against the intended motive. Peace, love, and blessings to all. I wish everybody good luck, good health, and good fortune. May we have more blessings in life. That's all for now guys. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and share it with your friends. If you want to know more about Feng Shui, please subscribe to my channel and get good Feng Shui in your life. See you on my next video. Goodbye.